hello and welcome to this brand new tutorial on this tutorial we are going to see how you can edit a picture using the settings that are in the canva we went through this but in a in a not in a deeper way it was rather in a narrow way to edit the picture so what you do if you have not selected your image feel free to use any image that you might want to look I might change this and maybe change it to a lady and then come to where these all oh, these are videos I'm sorry I said just select the picture let me just select this which is a poor one and just increase it so that you can see this an, is an edited picture but the, only, the purpose of this tutorial is just to show you how you can edit your picture of course the last one the last time we saw how you can remove the background if you didn't see the lesson there it's it's better to just see it but feel free to just click here and remove the background but this is not what we're dealing with today so the next one is just come here to adjust just below the background remover and maybe do the editing which might be left out as you can see the image is is a bit warm you can use the filters which are here feel free to just look at them and see the effect they have in this picture it's really nice if you just look at how it changes we have the blur which if you just click it comes and applies the blur in in this but for now i let them not apply this this blur the saturation reduces you can either saturate the picture up to this point just to look to make it look way better or you can reduce the, the saturation and maybe the picture will look like a it's a grayscale one and we have pretty much of things which are left which are here down which you i encourage you you can just look at them as as you uh, peruse and see the effect they have like increasing uh, and reducing the shadows they are pretty much of the things here you can if it's photogenic you can apply these effects and once you apply the effect there are knobs here which are kind of controls which you can click and do the adjustment which th this photogenic had effect and then if it's just good you click apply you can always apply smart mockups which we are going to see in a different tutorial and in adjust in adjusting you can always uh, click see all and s look at what you can adjust in all of these there are various things like contrast don't overdo it it might look really bad don't underdo it just apply it subtly you can change the tint but make sure that if you apply it you know what you're doing here otherwise you're going to make the picture look really bad you can increase or reduce the bra x process this depends on your picture you're dealing with you can change the vignette you can reduce the maybe the warmth to make it look a bit cold you can increase the clarity which as you can see if you zoom it closer clarity if you increase the clarity it will look really bad so you have to be subtly apply these things you can reduce the highlight a little bit because of the sky then of course the, sh the shadows you don't have to apply all this effect this is just for demonstration of the things that you can apply in an image and of course here you can always crop the image remove the place that you don't want to once you're done click done you can flip the image in any side or vertical you can animate the picture but when you animate the picture it look like a gif you can position the picture in different angles especially if the picture doesn't fit in the canvas well the next one is just to deal with the transparency by reducing its transparency it kind of reduces everything then you can attach a url in this image if someone clicks and it would redirect them to a certain website or url then the next one is to lock the image whenever you feel like you're done and that's it i'm hoping okay something that we forgot is just to maybe to add some comment if you're working with a team 
say maybe hey how does it look and if you're working with team they will just respond to you if you click comment there will be a place for someone to reply and you can add a sticker as well so that is how you you can communicate using uh, this platform and i'm sure that you've learned something from this i'm looking forward to seeing you in the future until next time bye bye